hello um, in today's video I'm going to show you and review Renfield glitter paint additive I'm going to apply it and uh, experiment with it and give you some fun project ideas that you can take further I like to experiment with new art materials and this is one of the experiments so that I'm doing this for the first time uh, that's why it doesn't look perfect but I'll show you uh, what you can do with the glitter A Renfield glitter features very bright, um, vibrant colors. It also has a variety of different hues that, that you can choose from. It's a super fine glitter and uh, this particular brand has smart package design. It stands on a table easily, it doesn't fall over and uh, the glitter itself uh, has a lot of sparkle uh, when you place it under a, a direct sunlight or strong uh, light. This glitter has a variety of uses. It, it is sold to add into the wall paint uh, to make your room sparkle, which I think is a great, is a brilliant idea. I would never think of that, um, but I think it's a wonderful idea. I would be thrilled to have my um, room sparkle if, <laughs> if I were a kid. You can use it in more applications than one you can add sparkle to your acrylic paintings you know you can paint the room with the, a mix of paint and glitter you can add it into the wood varnish uh, to have some sparkle uh, you can add it into your resin projects and make uh, them sparkle you can also make I don't know, Christmas cards, uh, birthday cards, anytime cards. Uh, you can use this in the background for uh, art projects. I'm guessing there are many more users. Uh, if you have an idea, you can uh, drop it in the comments below this video. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, how I applied this uh, glitter and you know I'm gonna show you how I mixed it and what uh, project ideas I have with it. You know to to test it I basically uh, I, I took uh, my basic wall paint uh, acrylic wall paint and I mixed the you know first I applied it on its own just to compare it to the final result and then I mixed the glitter right into that paint and I think I used uh, too much glitter in relation to the amount of paint um, if I do it next time I'll uh, you know, I'll back off on the amount of glitter used and I would use less uh, to uh, mix it into the paint. So it's all about the correct uh, uh, mixing ratio between the two. And so what I did, I mixed the glitter and I applied it um, on my panel. It's easier to add a glitter into your paint. Basically, you just uh, open the uh, package and put the glitter into your paint, mix the paint well so you get a nice and even application and then uh, roll it uh, over a clean um, surface. 
Um, also, the manufacturer suggests to use, uh, you know, to buff the surface after drying, but I haven't done it and I uh, got the wonderful results. I mean, it really sparkles without buffing. Please don't forget to check out the links in the description of the video. And uh, I'm an Amazon affiliate. This video is totally free. But um, if you'd like to support uh, this channel, please consider using my links uh, to buy uh, your art supplies on Amazon. Thank you so very much. I mix different glitters to uh, test them and and I also used a couple of well three kinds of paint from different manufacturers to see uh, the result as well. I used the basic uh, wall paint um, and I used uh, the acrylic paint of uh, three different colors. And I even tried using um, a green wood stain, uh, which is super transparent. Uh, and I mixed some glitter into it just to see uh, what kind of result I would get. Okay, I waited till all paint dries um, to show you the difference between the two surfaces. So this one has no glitter on it and this one is very glittery as you can see. One of the things that I learned is that um, I need to uh, do a much better paint application. Um, I didn't know what to expect from doing this. That's why I used a sm fairly small brush. If I do it again, I'll use a wider brush or maybe even a roller because uh, this glitter is designed to mix uh, with paint to paint the walls. I think the roller would give a much more even application, but uh, as you can see, it definitely sparkles. There is no doubt about it. And I think the amount of sparkle would depend on, you know, the ratio between the pin, the amount of glitter added into it. Also, as you can see, it sparkles like crazy under a certain um, rotation of the panel when it catches the light so here like if I hold it like so it doesn't sparkle but as soon as I start rotating it it sparkles like crazy if you pin the, the entire wall um, the sparkle uh, would change depending on the lighting conditions and time of the day but it does work um, you can see the uneven application because of the brush, not the roller that I used. And also with this one, I had the gold sparkle at the top and I tried laser pinkish glitter. So it has a slightly different sparkle. In essence, these beige color is you know the color design for the wall painting turquoise is the acrylic paint that i had that that's often used in you know acrylic painting and over here i have a three types uh, the glitter paint additive i think one of them is you know laser gold another one is pink one of the pinks and this one colorful red but it looks like white and they do uh, sparkle a lot okay and this is done on on a panel um, using Acry very basic acrylic paint for craft painting as you can see this is pinkish 
it's called lazy pinkish uh, glitter. It sparkles a lot, but I think uh, the amount of sparkle would largely depend on the ratio between the paint itself and the amount of uh, glitter you put in into the mix. Okay, and I also tried a different color, which is this uh, lime tree green, uh, very nice and warm green, and mixed a little bit of this um, colorful red. I don't know why it's called colorful red, because it, it sparkles like uh, snow. And um, so that's the result with this one. See, it, it really sparkles a lot. And I've done it in one layer, and I think the more glitter you put in, the more texture you are going to see. So I think it's um, you need to experiment how much glitter you put in um, for the amount of paint that you use. And that's my uh, trial of wood stain, um, green wood stain, and I mixed uh, some uh, sapphire blue into it. So it's still drying out, but you can see that it also sparkles like crazy. I wanted to see uh, how the paint's transparency is going to affect the uh, the level of sparkle in the glitter. I don't see that much of a difference. All, all of them, all of them sparkle a lot in comparison to plain color application. And all the different colors of the glitter and the paint, it does sparkle and it looks beautiful. I think I would be figuring out how to have um, even application, um, taking a wider brush or even brushing with a roller next time I do it. So, or maybe I would do a second application on, on a panel like this one uh, to see if I get a um, more even distribution of the paint. What's great about it, it's, it's basically acrylic paint. Then you can paint over it uh, with, with some acrylics and have this as the background texture or even use some oil paint to paint um, the focal image. Um, you can be very creative with this. I'm filming this in the morning to show you uh, the sparkle that you can get if you expose uh, you know, this, this mix of glitter and paint uh, to a bright light. So I think if you paint the entire room with this, um, it's going to sparkle when the light hits it directly. And if it's in the shadow, there will be no sparkle. Like if I take this sample, see when I move it um, to the light, it, it shines and sparkles, but when I move this away from the light, um, it doesn't spark sparkle as much. So it's totally normal, I think. And the, the amount of sparkle is going to depend on your uh, mixing ratio. So remember that. You, you have to follow the instructions. It does sparkle a lot when it's, you know, when it's sunny. And if you move it into the shadow area, um, it doesn't 
really sparkle which I think is, is totally fine so I hope this makes sense to you Um, as you can see, uh, it has a very subtle sparkle when the light doesn't hit it directly. But I love it. I love the sparkle. It's, it's very beautiful. And as I continue testing um, this glitter, I just want to show you a few uh, project ideas that I have in mind that I would probably use in my own art in the future. So I applied colored pencil over uh, this dry layer of paint and glitter and it worked well um, but you have to use a final fixative to um, spray it outdoors so so the colored pencil stays in place and doesn't smudge i really uh, liked uh, the result using molotov acrylic marker one for all um, and it says that it's gold color um, it has a fine tip and it's easier to apply it and it's acrylic so it goes well uh, with the base which is acrylic paint as well. I also tested uh, drawing on this surface using the micron pens it, uh, they have uh, black archival ink and uh, it worked really well as well and you can test any markers that you have just to see um, what the result you are going to get i recommend using acrylic markers Finally, you can use it with your oil or acrylic paint. Uh, for instance, you can create the base layer um, using paint and glitter and then apply uh, some paint over uh, parts of your panel or, you know, you can think of the design beforehand, of course, um, but uh, you can use it this way and here we go I used colored pencil on top of um, a, a mix of acrylic and glitter this is colored pencil too I used Molotov acrylic uh, marker. I used um, permanent ink and another marker and oil paint. And I think acrylic paint will work as well too. And don't forget to share your project ideas uh, using glitter in the comments below. To I, I will be very interested to learn from you.
If you're interested in visionary art or would like to take a video art course, please visit veronicasart.com. And thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye.